Good morning gamers, welcome back to Phantom Games. I am the AMDM Lee and this is the Bridgewater Knights update. Uh, honestly, I don't remember what session this is. I'll have to look back at my notes, but I'm going to fill you in on what happened. So, during the last campaign they fought some basilisks. We're told by Big Julie, the, um, the mobster, the gnome mobster, that they're going to be offered a job. They're going to take the job. And they're going to bring him what they're hired to get. So, they find out that the job is to retrieve a dwarven recipe book for some ale. Family recipe book, been in the family for generations. So, that was where we ended that last campaign. So this campaign, uh, they wake up, well, after uh, Clay, the monster hunter fighter, decides that he's going to go out and get drunk, comes back, sleeps it off, they get up and go out the next day. Well, <laughs> they spend the first two hours, not play time, game time, real time, two hours, Deciding, bitching, <laughs> complaining that I that they're being forced to do this. It's a moral decision and they don't like the consequences. They see no way out of it. It is funny as hell. Every time they, they come to a stopping point, one of them looks at me and goes, You suck. It was, as a DM, I love that. I love making my players go, you son of a bitch. <laughs> it's just so much fun. So they complained and complained and complained and then started to storm and then decided they were going to stop playing this and play different characters in their own game. And they were going to play D&D &D with, 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 with hookers and booze. <laughs> it was funny. <coughs> so... For two straight hours, they debated what they were going to do. From everything from deciding to, you know what, well, let's just go with, let's go get some explosives and blow up the casino and kill Flat Julie and get that over with. Or better yet, let's just leave the country. Let's leave the continent. Let's leave the game campaign setting. <laughs> it, was, it was funny. It was a lot of fun. Now, then once they finally got there, decided, all right, we've got to go do this. They got out and they did, they decided, they know that, all they know is it's a demon. They'll get more information once they get to the festival grounds. So they know they've got, uh, they were, they're supposed to meet the guy in three days at the festival. So they go book, book passage in a caravan that's traveling there. They decide they're going, they go to try to find out what kind of, What's good against demons? Uh, they go talk to one of their contacts who who hires out hunters uh, and you know adventurers. He doesn't give them a lot of good information, so they go to they know of a cleric, or they know they're 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 they know some clerics. Uh, the cleric that was in the party is no longer with the party. Why? They believe that he. Just can't handle. Uh, they 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 have concluded that he cannot handle dealing with the underbelly that they deal with. So then they they go to see another cleric that might have some information on demons. Uh, he tells them something divine. You know that will that will be good against demons. Uh, and then proceeds to sell them some holy water. Legit, legit holy water. So they get a flask of holy water. Then they go and buy a bunch of uh, glass flask. Then they they go hunt down a leathersmith to uh, make some some quick release pouches or buttons. They end up discussing and coming up with bandoliers. So now they have these. They and they way overpaid him. So he did a quick rush job. Uh he he does good work. He, they, so they have some some bandoliers that have five vials on it, so they can just pull the vial off and toss it. 
They bought some slings so they can maybe load the vial up in a sling and, and toss it out that way. Uh, they book passage. They well, they get all this stuff. They get onto the passage. Then they when they get there, they run into uh, the owner of the brass sprocket, which he is a engineer, smith type thing, and he's worked with them before. And they almost got him him and his son killed after rescuing his son, like one of the early sessions. They noticed that. Uh, the work one of the workers at the tipsy drow has got a wagon there she's going to pick up some of the ale that's going to be released uh fill, to fill an order they run into one of the town guards who's basically on a vacation he's going to the festival they find out his brother is the or his cousin is the constable of this festival and just in conversation, they tell him they're going, they're not going there to enjoy the festival. They're going to kill a demon. And his response is, I'm supposed to be on vacation. So that's where they're at. They're, they just finally left town and headed on their way. Literally just got through the gates. They have a full day and a half before they'll get to the festival grounds. So we'll have to see what happens in this next day and a half. So that's all I've got for now, guys. If you like these videos, click on the like button. If you think someone else would like them, click on the share button. Every like is an inspiration, every share is an advantage, and every subscription is an experience point. Help me reach 300 experience points so I can get to second level. And don't forget, if you share the video, I'll give you 10 experience points. All you gotta do is tell your DM that the AMDM said so. That's all. I probably look a little creepy like right now. Like I'm trying to sell you something in a back alley. That's all I got for now, guys. I'll see you in the next I'll see you in the morning with the rest of the challenge. Adios. See you in the next game.